cataractcoach.com. Why is the eye pressure high on post-op day one? Now, there are multiple different causes, and you may think, well, it's probably retained viscoelastic. elastic. Well, it could be the case. Here's the patient having cataract surgery. Looks like a relatively routine case, good dilation. We put our dispersive viscoelastic in. You notice the way we put the viscoelastic in, it can be adherent to the angle, especially opposite the paracentesis, because that's where it's hitting the angle with the most pressure as we backfill the eye or the anterior chamber with our viscoelastic. So here's the temporal incision made with the keratome. We're going to get that rexus done. And the cataract part of the case can be pretty routine. Now, retained viscoelastic certainly is an issue. We've talked about doing the angle sweep technique, and we'll show you that at the end of this case to make sure there's no retained OVD stuck in the angle, especially opposite the paracentesis here. So this definitely is a, a good cataract case. I want a nice five millimeter rexus here. This patient's relatively monocular. The patient does have a history of underlying glaucoma, which was worse than the other eye. And the patient was sent to me by um, his glaucoma specialist in order to have this cataract surgery done. Patient is gonna elect to have a monofocal toric lens here. And actually, a post-op goal of a mild degree of myopia, minus one. As Tom Modin says, you know, minus one's a good place to be. And so I think for a monocular patient, minus one's a pretty nice kind of compromise for good all-around vision for the home. Let's go to the end of the case here. Here's filling the eye or the capsule bag with our cohesive viscoelastic. So now we'll clean up the eye, clean do a little capsule polishing, and we're going to put the lens in. Now remember, patients who do have baseline glaucoma, primary open angle glaucoma, they often have some underlying issue with that trabecular meshwork. And sometimes the surgery itself, just the insult from it causing inflammation of the eye, that can lead to a pressure spike on post-op day one. So yes, I agree with you that retained viscoelastic is probably the most common cause, but even patients like this who are not gonna have any retained viscoelastic but instead are just going to have some sort of malfunction of the trabecular meshwork on post-op day one. So this patient did have a high pressure on post-op day one at about 30, and patient did require extra topical medication to bring that down. So here going behind the IOL optic to remove viscoelastic. So there's no viscoelastic behind it, especially in a torque lens. We definitely want that. We want to keep this eye free from viscoelastic. And so we'll get the torque lens in position. Remember, if you have viscoelastic stuck behind the optic here, that can cause the torque lens to misrotate because it kind of acts as a lubricant. So we've taken all the viscoelastic. Now let's see, seal up the incision, and we'll try to do a little angle sweep here. And at the end, we're actually going to put a little triumph seal inside the eye to help quell inflammation. Now you may think, well, doesn't ste don't steroids cause a pressure spike? Well, they can, but remember, that's usually not until a little bit later on. Unusual to see a pressure spike from steroids in post-op day one. And also, remember, the anterior chamber turns over every 90 minutes or 100 minutes or so. As a result, the triumph cell that we put inside here at the end of the case is not going to last very long, a couple of days at most. But we put some in there, now look, the particles would actually let you see any retained viscoelastic. So I don't think there's any retained viscoelastic. But need to say this patient did have that pressure spike on post-op day one. And that did lead to a little bit of a microcystic edema in the cornea. Once the pressure was bought, brought down, the cornea cleared up nicely, and the patient has continued to do well in the post-op period here. So now we're just checking. That's the eye pressure at the end of the case. Look at that, nice and low, so not a high pressure. Just making sure the incisions seal up very nicely, and then we'll call it a day. But pressure spikes post-op day one can be retained viscoelastic. Sometimes it can be patients who have issues with their trabecular meshwork due to underlying glaucoma. Thanks for watching.